So we've got our story point. Now we need some text to be displayed in our game. Let's go to our media sidebar and find our dialogue box. There we go. So before I go and place this into the game, I'm going to make a new layer, in my layers panel there. And I'm going to double click on that layer and rename it user interface or UI for short. UI. And those are things like buttons, uh, panels, information that aren't necessarily part of the game world, but display information about it. So I'm going to put this in my UI layer. And I've put it outside of the level just so I know it's not supposed to actually appear inside the world. Okay, now we need to add a script to it so that it can receive that message from the dialogue trigger down there. Okay, first of all, we'll start it out invisible and we'll disable its physics and then we'll create some text to display. So we'll go to events and grab when created. So when created happens just before the level starts. Then we'll go to looks and grab set visibility of myself. Set that to false. And then from physics, down the bottom, we want set physics enabled false. Okay, now we want to create some text. So we'll create a text field from draw. Under text, we want create text field with text. And let's put some filler text in here. Dialogue text goes here. Okay, now we can style the text. We can set the font size, so let's do that. Might make it 26. And we can also set the color of the font. Might make that white. And then we can also set the width of the text field so that um, you don't have one long line of text that goes off the side of the screen. Um, if we go to draw and grab set font size, then change font size to max width. And let's make that 900. Uh, you can change these numbers if, and colors if you like. Then we'll make the visibility of the text go off as well. So we'll duplicate set visibility and get myself out of there and put instance text field. We'll duplicate that and put that in there. Set visibility of text field to false. Good. 